This is a Nikon D3200, the latest of Nikon's DSLR cameras. It's the entry level model and here today I'm going to show you a little bit about what it can do and the features that it has going for it. Now the D3200 is an addition to Nikon's range, it's not replacing the previous model, so the D3100 will still be available. Now what this new model has going for it is a massive hike in megapixels, up from 14.1 megapixels on the previous model to this model which has 24.2 megapixel resolution. And that should mean that if you want to blow up a picture you should be able to really focus in on the smaller details. Now because it's an entry level model, Nikon have tried to make this camera capture really good images and movies but also be incredibly easy to use. And for this reason they've enhanced the guide mode feature that they had on the previous model. So you've got some additional settings in here and I can show you one right now. So if I switch to the guide mode which you can see on the dial here and we'll select shoot to go in and in the advanced operation are the additional features. Now here we can see that it's got an option for using low key photos. If we select here it shows you exactly what the camera is going to do, gives you a little overview, also what you can change, so the exposure compensation here will make a difference to your shot. And then actually go into saying yes I'll use the viewfinder please, if I aim it at my shot and take my picture, and there we see the result on the screen. Now it's just talking you through so you can understand what your camera's trying to do. So there's also a mode for taking better sunsets. It's telling you it's going to enhance the red or also background blur. So it's an introduction to playing with your aperture effectively. And the camera will just talk you through all those things on the screen so you can understand what you're doing and the things to change to make a different shot. Nikon has also increased the resolution of the screen on this model, so you're now up to 921k dot screen. Also, if you're tr struggling with reflections, you can use the viewfinder here, the optical viewfinder, so you can always hold it up to your eye and take the shot that way. The ISO settings on this camera range from 100 to 6400, but you can also cre increase that in high one to 12800, although obviously you'll expect some image noise when you're using such high ISO settings. Now the D3200 can shoot video at 1080p at 30 frames per second, or if you want to increase that, it's 60 frames per second at 720p. Now this model only has a built-in mono microphone, but the bonus with the D3200 is that you can attach an external mic, unlike with the D3100, which will remain on sale. So if you want to see how that fared for video quality, you can see the results at witch.co.uk. Now not much has changed in the look of the D3200 compared to the 3100. They've moved a couple of buttons, the record button here and also the timer on the back which is moved. And generally it's stayed the same size although they have crammed in a, an improved processor on this model. It's the same one that you'd see on the D4. Now the D3200 also has the option of Wi-Fi connectivity. It's not built in unfortunately but you can buy a separate adapter for around £55 and that will be available from sort of mid-May time. The idea being that you connect it on the mini USB port and then you'll be able to download your photos from the camera to another device. So that's limited to Android devices at the moment and the app will be available for free on the marketplace. Or um, iOS compatibility will be coming soon, so look out for that if you're an iPhone user. So you'll be able to download your pictures from here to your phone to then upload from your phone to a social networking site or share them on, on Flickr. Or you can use your app on your phone to control the camera, so use it like a remote control. So you'll be able to set the camera somewhere, take the shot from a distance. Obviously, I don't think I'd want to leave a piece of kit like this lying around too far away from me. Because it's not a cheap bit of kit, just the body alone is expected to retail for 559. Or for the kit model with the 18 to 55mm lens, which unfortunately we don't have attached here. But that will be retailing for 649. Now the black version will be available from around mid-May and the red version will be around sometime later, it's yet to be confirmed.